hey all and welcome to this practical on using data protection manager uh, for this practical we'll be requiring two machines one that is running system center data protection manager and a second machine that is having an sql database uh, for demonstration purposes i'm using the uh, the system orchestrator server loaded with sql server management studio uh, in my SQL Server Management Studio, what I've done is I've gone into databases and I've created a demo database. This demo database is having one table called DBO Students, which is having two columns, uh, one for name and one for roll number. So if I run a query right now on this table, I can see that I have uh, I have I have around two rows of data already inputted into this po.students and execute all right the reason i'm doing this is so that after i take a recovery point i'm planning to insert more data into this and then do a restore back to this database to check whether is my recovery point successful or not uh, once you have done this, once I have entered some data, maybe a single row of data or maybe multiple rows. Alright, after I have created a database in my SQL Management Studio, I will come into my Data Protection Manager console on my DPM server. There are three things that need to be done. First thing is, I need to have an agent, I need to have a disk, and I need to create a protection group. If I click on disks and click on add, you will see that currently I am not having any disk at all over here. What I've done is uh, inside of my VM where I have attached a 20 gigabyte virtual hard disk. If I go into computer management and disk management, I can see that this disk is now showing as 20 GB and unallocated. You can also see that it's showing as offline. What you need to do is right click on top of this and put this online over here. The moment you put on it, it'll say non initialize. So you need to right click on top of it again, select initialize disk, and you can select this GPT that is GUID partition table and click on OK. Once the disk is initialized, I will come back into my data protection manager. I'll click on the add option in disk, and my disk will now be visible. I'll just click on the add button and finally click on OK. Alright, so after I click on OK, my disk will now be displayed over here. I'm seeing it having a 19.87 gig capacity and it is 100% unallocated. Next step is involving with agent. Now, what are servers which I want to have, whose data who I want to take a backup or a recovery of? It needs to have an agent install of it. So right now, because I've created a database on my system orchestrator server, I will need to install the agent onto the system orchestrator server. So I can go to agents, click on the install option on top. I'll be installing an agent. I'll be clicking next. I will select system center orchestrator, click add, which will now display the orchestrator server on the selected computers on the right hand side. I'll click next again. I will give the administrative credentials next and I will select no I will restart the computer later and I click next and I'll click on install the protection agent will now begin installing on top of this selected server so all right uh, if you have any all right so i'm installing the agent onto my system orchestrator server i will select agents install agents i'll click next i will select my system center orchestrator server i'll click on add 
click on next I will specify the administrative account and I'll click next and I will select no I will restart this selected computer later So I've added one 20 gigabyte disk into my storage pool and I have installed my data protection manager agent onto my system center orchestrator server. Now just doing these two things is not enough since I am working with an SQL database there is one more thing that needs to be done. If you go on to your SQL database management studio you will see when you log in there is an option called security and that there is login uh, and that there is an account called anti authority slash system you need to right click on top of this go into the properties and inside the properties for server roles you need to make sure that this account needs to have sysadmin rights onto the, onto this, onto the database as well whatever account you will be logging into like for example I am logging in as a decent admin account you will also need to check that account whether it has the sysadmin server role now to I need to create a protection group for creating a protection group I will need to go into the protection option and data protection manager once I go into the data prote once I go into a protection option I will get the option I will need to then create a protection group if you see over here before start before you start protecting data you need to add this to the storage pool which we have done check we need to install a protection agent also which we have done check now to create a protection group I will go on top to menu and I will click on the new option once I click on new option it will give me a create a new protection group wizard in this wizard I am doing the protection on top of servers hence I will click next I will go into system center orchestrator server and in this I will select the demo database which I just created So I'll be taking a backup or a recovery point of my demo database. And once I tick mark it, it'll come under the selected members section. I'll click next. I will create the protection group as S -Oc group S -Oc protection. Right. I'm doing a backup to disk and short term protection selected. I need to have the retention days as 5 days and synchronization frequency as 50 minutes. When I click next, you will see that it is giving me as this space allocated in DPM as 14.57 GB. If I change around in the retention range or the frequency, uh, synchronization frequency, the pool allocation will change as well. Like it now will come to 12.77 GB. So, what is happening is since I want to store my backups for 5 days and the synchronization frequency will happen for 15 minutes it is deciding that how much space would be required for this 5 days worth of backup similarly if I change it to 2 days and if I increase the synchronization frequency to maybe once every 24 hours the disk space required or the space which would be allocated would be reduced I'll click next next and I want to automatically do replica right now I will want to run a consistency check and I click on create group the moment I click on create group it will start the creation of the protection group and after the group has been created it will also allocate space replica base space for my demo database in my disk base storage pool
all right bora demo giving us success if i click on close and see my protection group i can see that a replica creation is in progress so after this replica has been created what we'll be doing is we'll be inserting a new row of data into our demo database after a row of data has been entered we will then come back into data protection manager and we will try to perform a recovery the replica creation can take some amount of time it can take some two minutes or it can even take some five minutes it depends upon the data size and the connectivity with that server all right so my protection group is protection status is signed as okay let me just come back into my SQL database I've all if I run a select star from dbo.students I can then see my database is having two rows of data uh, Lionel and Rahul having roll number 10 and 11 let's say I will type a query for inserting our values insert into dbo.students values and let's give Mina a uh, roll number of 13 okay. the moment I execute this statement it will insert this row of data into a database if I come back into the query and execute the statement I will now see that my database now has three rows of data so I'll come back into my data protection manager to perform a recovery I need to go to a recovery tab in this recovery tab left hand side is the recoverable data which is demo db recovery time let's say the recovery time I'll move it to 10 35 pm and I will click on recover when I click on recover I need to select the recovery type which is I want to recover to the original instance I'll click on next next I don't have a SAN so I don't need network bandwidth usage throt throttling and I finally click on recover it will start doing the recovery of the database to from the recovery point to the original database location so after the recovery has been done and if I run a select star query on the database it should not show me three rows of data but it should just show me a two rows of data which were present before the recovery point was made I'll close this If I come back to my database and I run a select query again, I will now see that my database is having the two rows of data which were previously there in my database before the recovery point was created. This means that my recovery point has been successful and my data has been restored to a point when the recovery was made if I go back into protection it may show me replica is inconsistent what I can do I can select this protection group and I can ask it to do a consistency check if I want I can perform a recovery point as well let me just click on consistency check and do you want to perform yes So now what it'll do, it'll now try to perform a consistency check and a verification on the data of the recovery point. If I want to create a new recovery point, I can click the recovery new recovery point button again.
so if you see now it is showing me ok as the protection status for my protection group so if I look at a summary at this practical I require two machines a machine containing a database and a machine having my system center data protection manager on the database machine I will create a database and I'll insert few rows of data into a table after that, I need to set the sysadmin privileges in the user role settings of the database second I will come into my data protection manager and I will need to install the agent onto the server on which the SQL database is present the database which I want to take a backup of then I will need to allocate disk based storage into my disk storage pool then I will create a protection group which will then take a replica of the current state of the database of that server after replica has been created I will insert some more rows of data into my database I will then perform a recovery from the using the protection group and the latest recovery point after the recovery has been successful I will then check the data of the database whether it is showing the data which was present before the recovery point was made 